I'm John Papa from National Jukebox and Arcade Treasures in Mayfield, New York. Once in a while we get a machine in that's so exciting and so rare that we like to share it with our YouTube friends. This is a uh, Chester Pollard trickle ball. Uh, most of us are all familiar with the Chester Pollard series of games that are extremely popular with uh, collectors. The first game that Chester Pollard came out with was the Chester Pollard Play Football, which was an absolute sensation in penny arcades. That machine took in so much money, uh, and they sold so many of them that still hundreds of them exist today. It's a, it's a really fun game, and it took in a ton of money. The second game that came out by Chester Pollard was the Chester Pollard Play Golf, which uh, a wonderful uh, sports-related penny arcade game that is a lot of fun, single player. Um, what happened was uh, it came out right about at the same time as the Depression, and all of these companies were really suffering. And um, the golf game isn't quite as much fun as the uh, as the football. So the combination of the fact that it wasn't quite as much fun, it's a single player game, and we had the Depression. Uh, people weren't putting as much money in machines uh, at all. So Chester Pollard had a problem, and one of their di biggest distributors was Trimount uh, Machine Company out of uh, Boston, Massachusetts. And they had quite a few uh, golf games pile up because operators were sending them back. They weren't quite as much fun. They weren't bringing in as much money as the football. It was a little bit of a disappointment, even though by today's standards, from a collectability point of view, you know, a, a Chester Pollard play golf is a great game, and it's it's really endeared by collectors. Um, still, they had a problem. It was it was the depression. There was a big craze coming out called pinball or bagatelle, and um, to try to uh, cash in on that craze, that that pinball craze, Trimount took these play golfs that were laying around and they converted some of them to what they called trickle ball. And this is an example of that. This is very rare. There's, as far as we know, only three or four examples. Maybe there's another one or two out there that we're not aware of. Um, there's one in the fabulous Chase collection in Connecticut. That's one that we restored. And there's also one in the Wells Museum in Wells, is it New Hampshire? Maine. W uh, Wells, Maine. Um, there's an example there, and then there's this one. There may be one or two others, but anyway, extremely rare. Um, so what uh, Trimount Machine Company did, who was a, a huge Chester Pollard distributor on the East Coast, they took the play golf and they changed this part of the play field to, to include a pinball game, an early bagatelle type pinball with the metal pins um, and a scoring uh, idea of how to score and keep track of who who had a better game and uh, they also changed the uh, the coin mech to uh, a changeable type pinball type coin mech which you could change from penny to nickel to dime as as the economy changed uh, this example is in the original penny form and uh, let me show you how the game is played the other thing they did is they cut down the legs on the cabinet to try to appeal to kids. They wanted to get this game out. They wanted to get some use out of these Chester Pollard golf somehow. So they cut the legs down to make it more appealing to kids and to give it this pinball theme. So the idea is you would get four balls for a penny. Uh, And then you would shoot the ball up the ramp, and it would go through the bagatelle. Okay, so I've got a green one. That would be equivalent to a 1,000 points. Now let's get another ball. Oh, I got a blue. That's equivalent to 800 points. Well, anyway, you see how the game works. Uh, you, you would add up your points, and then the next person would play. Um, Having it be on a penny was an attempt for them to get, to try to, you had to understand, during the Depression, uh, to get somebody to put a five cent piece in a game, five cents was a lot of money during the Depression. This was an attempt by Chester Pollard, in particular Trimount Coin Machine Company, 
to get some use out of their machines and try to get whatever they could uh, in terms of revenue. Um, super rare. Uh, well, this is a wonderful original example. Chester Pollard Trimount coin machine, truckle ball. 